what is kind of your strategy or outlook on this season? Um, you know, it's a it's a new group. Um, we have some kids that we're really excited about joining the program. I think they'll be great additions. I think they'll be um, really good additions to our campus life here. Um, I think they're in, they'll integrate um, really well with the, the way University of Pacific in Stockton works. And um, they'll be a, a really fun group to watch, along with the returning guys that we have. So um, I'm looking forward to it. I, I think um, this year, you know, I look for this group to get so competitive as the season goes on. Um, I think they'll continue to come together. We've had a great summer, um, and the kids have gotten better throughout the summer. Um, they're, they're a fun group to be around. Uh, they keep us on our toes. Um, you know, we, we've learned a lot. Touch on those new guys a little <laughs> bit. What are some, some facts that the fans should know? Well, um, you know, we, we've, we've added um, some kids that have played at some really high levels. And um, we've had two kids that have competed in uh, the Big 12 Conference for the last few years. Um, that's as high as you can get. That's as big as you're going to possibly get. The national champion comes from the Big 12 Conference in Kansas, and they competed against those guys for the last two or three years together, and Keelan Boone uh, and Donovan Williams. So those would be two fantastic um, additions to what we're doing. We've also added uh, Jordan Curry um, from UT San Antonio, who has led a Division One team in scoring. Um, that's 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 a chore knowing that you're the guy the opposition's trying to stop every night and you're still able to to uh, shoot the ball at a high rate um, and lead your team in scoring um, I, I think that he's going to bring a dynamic that we haven't had um, in being able to score off the dribble catch and shoot um, in the open court and transition um, and in low clock situations I think he'll he'll give us a different look that we haven't had um, in a while um, you know, we've added Tyler Beard. He transferred um, from Georgetown. Um, you know, he's, he's played against, you know, top-notch competition. He was a winner in high school. He's a winner in prep school. Um, I, I think he's got a chip on his shoulder, and, and he'll do a really good job for us, um, you know, for the years that he's going to be in our program. Um, he's from Chicago. He's a tough kid. Um, he loves to compete. He's an everyday guy. And, and the kids that we brought in, um, I think that's what they bring to our program. Most of these kids are everyday guys. Um, they're, they're used to getting up, competing at a high level every day. And, and when you have that, that raises the level of competition. And when you raise the level of competition, it makes your program better. Um, Justin Martindale, transfer from Holy Cross. Um, he got here. I don't think we realized how athletic he was. Um, he's a really, really good athlete. Um, he's got a great skill set, knows how to play the game, he's from Boston, um, can shoot the basketball. Um, we're looking forward to, to seeing what Justin brings to the table night in and night out. Um, I think he's going to be a, uh, just an unbelievable um, addition for us. Cam Denson is from L.A. Um, he's a junior college transfer, went to Triton Junior College. Um, he competed for a national championship. Um, he's right there to win the whole thing this year in Hutch. Um, he's 6'7", um, can put it on the floor, um, capable shooter, um, really good court awareness, knows how to play, um, and a really good passer. And I, I think that's going to enhance everything we do um, on the offensive end. I think he'll be a big addition um, to our program, and we're, we're so excited to have him. The minute I saw him, I was really, really excited. I was like, that, that's a guy we have to have in this program, and, and we got him. Um, so I'm really excited about him. Um, Maurice Odom um, is our only freshman. Um, he's from New York. Um, went to a prep school and uh, I saw him play and, and fell in love with him immediately. Um, I, I think he'll be overlooked a little bit because he's a little thin, um, but he is as crafty a guard um, as we will have had come in here as a true freshman um, in a long time. Um, he can. He has all the intangibles. He's seen every defense there is to see growing up in the city of New York. Um, he's fearless, um, which I, I love the most. And it'll be fun to watch him grow uh, as he 
entrenches himself in becoming a Pacific Tiger in years to come. But I think Mole will surprise people. So, um, you know, for our season ticket holders, for people who are wondering where we're going to wind up, um, I, I think this is a group you're going to want to come see early, um, and it'll be a lot of fun. And then the last addition we, we had was uh, Makai Richards, a 6'11", transfer from Eastern Washington. Um, left-handed kid from L.A. Um, his brother played at Santa Clara. He's now transferred to Northern Arizona, whom is on our schedule. So that'll be interesting to see um, who mom and dad root for. Um, but I think Makai is is destined for a breakout year. Um, you know, he'll still be a freshman. He's a little bit older. He redshirted this year at Eastern Washington. And um, I think he's he has the ability to, to really break through and, and have a heck of a year. So we're we're excited about having him. He's a great athlete. He's left-handed. Um, he's got a good feel. Um, he can he can really run the floor. So our job is to get him in shape, um, and I think that'll that'll help his game tremendously. I think the kids have gotten along great. Um, I think they they formed their own bond. Um, you can see uh, the camaraderie amongst the team, the returners and the new guys. Um, and our returning guys have been great. Um, Nick Blake is back. Luke Abdalovich is, is back. Greg Outlaw is coming off a knee injury. He'll be back with us um, the latter part of, of non-conference this year. Who we're super excited um, to get his leadership back. And he was playing so well when he got hurt um, last year. Sammy Freeman will be back. We're looking forward for a big year for Sammy. Um, and Jalen Brown will be back. Um, who played well for us in spots and um, – knows this league and, and how it's supposed to go. But those guys have opened uh, their arms to all of our new guys, and, and the mix has been great. Um, the camaraderie has been great. Um, the summer activities we've done together has been great. So I think we've, we've got a really special group here in terms of how they bonded with each other um, this off season, And I'm looking forward to seeing um, when they all get back together and, and how they integrate in our campus and campus life and and um, a big part of our program is, you know, I tell these guys all the time, is how you integrate um, with our students here. It's, it's, yes, we want our students and fans to come, but you're a big part of that. So when you're in classes and all the activities that we have going on, the more you entrench yourself in that, the more people are, are likely to come out and support you. We start a year off with Stanford at Stanford. Um, last year, we were, able to, we were able to play USC at USC, um, played them to the hilt, took them to the wire, um, had them right on the edge, um, and that was a top 15 team in the country. Um, we played at Cal. We were up seven at half. We we're in that ball game. Um, we weren't able to close it off. Um, so we're excited about um, the opportunity to, to open up um, at Stanford. It'll be fun. I think they're having... Um, their education day, so it'll be the gym will be full of kids, um, you know. So we're we're expecting a kind of sold out type atmosphere. It'll be I think at 11 um, in the day uh, on on the seventh. So that'll that'll be a little bit different, um, but we're looking forward to it. I think our kids would be super excited to play a Pac-12 opponent on the road. Um, after that, we have North Dakota State, who came here last year, had a, a outstanding year. Um, and, and they, they took it to us in our place last year. So I'm hoping our guys remember that, because I certainly do. Um, it's kept me up at night. Um, so we look forward to going there. Um, it'll be a tough atmosphere. That'll be their first home game. And uh, that's a 20-plus win team. Um, we, and then we'll leave there. We'll be at North Dakota, um, which, which I haven't been there in a long time. Um, tough place to play. And then we'll come back. We have Cal State Fullerton, who is an NCAA tournament. Uh, participant last year, beat Long Beach to go to the NCAA tournament. Um, Deidre Taylor does an outstanding job with his, with his ball club. They beat us there last year. Um, we have Mount St. Mary's, we have Idaho, we have Cal Poly in our, in our uh, MTE here. Um, I, I'd love for our fans to come out and see all three games. Um, there's one in particular that um, I'll, be, I'll be excited to play, and that, that's Idaho, that's my alma mater. Um, I was head coach there, um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to the Vandals coming, coming to our place. Um, and then Cal Poly, um, John Smith does a great job um, with that, that program. I think they're on the upswing. Um, we go to UC Davis. They've given us fits ever since I've been here, just flat fits. Um, we, we've, 
we've been wrung out and, and hung to dry um, against UC Davis. So we're going there. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I think our kids will be too. Um, we had some good fortune with Santa Barbara um, this year, but typically that's an NCAA tournament team in the Big West. Um, all of our fans are super familiar with that game. It's at Santa Barbara. We have NAU here, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, Makai's brother um, plays for NAU. It's going to be a ball club that's on the swing. They have everybody returning. Um, I think they'll make a run in the big sky. Um, and then we have Fresno State at home. That series has kind of died down a little bit. Um, Coach Hudson has done an outstanding job um, with that team. Um, they won a postseason tournament last year. Um, they've won 20 games almost every year he's been there. And um, they've given us fits. Um, we play them here. I'd love for our fans to sell this place out um, against Fresno State. That would be an off awesome atmosphere against a regional rival um, that, that we've had for a long time. Um, and then we have a couple of non-ones that we'll play at home. And then San Jose comes here. Um, we played them there last year. We took a licking. Um, they play us here this year um, on the, the 17th in December. Um, and, yeah, we, we want to pack this place out. Let, let's pack the place out and try to take the Spartans down. Uh, Coach Miles and I go way back, um, all the way to when he was at North Dakota. We played when I was a head coach at Idaho, so a good friend of mine. Um, he's doing a good job with this program. I think they'll be significantly better. They've got a point guard that I think is an NBA caliber player. Um, so it'll be It'll be fun um, to play that game. And then we end the preseason at Lamar on the 20th of December. And then we head into uh, what I think is one of the best conferences um, in America in the WCC. Um, and we open up at home on the 29th. So that's our schedule. Looking forward to it. I'm excited about it. Um, I think our fans, the ones that haven't had a chance to come um, due to COVID concerns or whatever, come out. Do yourself a favor. Come out. Watch these kids. Um, and I guarantee you'll, you'll, you'll fall in love with them and, and you'll be a regular for sure. Our league speaks for itself. Um, obviously, we'll have the number one team in America, probably preseason. If it's not Kansas or somebody, it'll be Gonzaga. Um, BYU will be, be good as they always are. LMU is supposed to be really good. Um, they've had a good recruiting class. San Diego's got, um, got a top-notch uh, coach coming in now. Um, and, and I'm hearing all the upgrades they've done for the program. Um, so they'll be good. Pepperdine has got everyone returning. Um, Santa Clara's had the, what, 12th pick of the draft and Jalen Williams. And um, they were outstanding. He was outstanding. Um, Coach Sendek has always been good. Um, San Francisco will be a dark horse. They'll be really good this year. Um, they've added some pieces. Um, Shabazz is back in their backcourt. Um, I, I think Santa Clara, I mean, uh, San Francisco will be an excellent team in our league. Um, Gonzaga gets to come to um, the Alex Spano Center. Um, and if there's a ticket available, I'd be disappointed. Um, I think that place should be sold out and not with Zach fans. I think all the Pacific fans, old and new, should come out, sell this place out, and uh, let's welcome the number one team in the country coming here. Um, St. Mary's is on a foreign tour right now, um, and they look amazing. Um, they look amazing. Um, Randy Bennett does an outstanding job with, with that group. Um, I'm looking forward to playing University of Portland. Um, we dropped a couple of the, uh, tough ones last year to them. They were on the upswing. Um, they got their, their program turned around. They've invested a lot in it. And uh, I'm looking forward to, to, to playing them. Um, you know, and that's in a nutshell, that's our league. It's fun. It's tough. It's well coached. Um, every night's a dogfight. And um, I think our kids will be up for it. I think they're excited about it. And, and um, I, I have an idea where the pundits will pick us. Um, it's certainly not where we feel like we'll end up. So we're, we're looking forward to this year. How do you feel going into year two? You know, it, it, was, it, was, uh, it was a tough year um, for a myriad of reasons. It was a tough year. Um, you know, the transition happened late. Um, the addition of our staff happened late. Um, we were... We didn't get a full summer with the guys, um, so we, we went through some bumps, some some hard bumps. We learned a lot. Um, I learned a lot. I think I got better, um, you know, as a head coach. Um, I'm much more comfortable um, with our program, with the league, with the non-conference schedule, um, with what's in front of us. Um, I get it. Um, 
I, but it is year two. Um, we are growing. And um, I think, I believe that we'll be better um, than we were. And that's the goal of this program, to continuously get better um, and get our program where it can sustain being the top half of this league um, every year. And when you do that, that means you're hoovering around 20 wins and you're playing in postseason every year. And that's our goal. That's what we want, um, along with making a concerted effort to, um, to retain um, you know, the great majority of our program year in, year out, so our fans can get used to our kids being in, in, in our program and in the Stockton community and, and uh, really getting to know these kids. Coach, is there anything else about your, your team, your, you and your staff, this upcoming season that you wanted to add? Yes. Um, come out and support us. Come out. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, turn Spanos into what it used to be. Um, I think this year's team um, you'll be pleased with. Um, there'll be a lot of fun to follow and support. Um, but come out to our students. Come out. Come out to our faculty, um, to, to our administration, um, to, to our people that, that work in the physical plant. Wherever you work at the University of Pacific, um, in any endeavor, come out. Come out and support these kids. Um, they're good kids. I think you'll like them. Um, I think you'll have a lot of fun watching them grow. Um, and, and I think our program's heading in the right direction.